I think we have to be very careful when we define the word crisis. Um, we, we don't have a situation right now, and we haven't really had one, on the kind of crisis that I grew up on, like a Richard Nixon simply defying and saying, I'm not going to turn over subpoenaed documents. I'm simply not going to do that. We have people who have tested the Constitution way beyond, in many cases, what we recognize. But we have a system that brought them back in. It may be that the Senate and the House under Obama blocked a lot of what he was doing, but they were elected for a reason to do that. And where they were wrong, or where Obama tested his powers, the court stepped in and sorted those out. We haven't had yet had a complete defiance of the rule of law, because the rule of law is ultimately what the courts say it is. We haven't had that. I don't know if we're on that precipice now. But we certainly have a target-rich environment to figure that out. Mark, I would have to actually disagree with you on that, because I think that just as we've saw, seen in the last few days the idea of alternative facts, we lived through two administrations with a willingness to adopt alternative law. And the whole idea that the law constrains what we do, rather than that the law is somehow a tool that we can use in fighting terror, is already, to me, a signal that we have a kind of rule of law crisis in this country.